so right that was worth its weight in gold really if you can see very well there um took the inner one off took the outers off lovely so uh i think i'm gonna end up having to drill these out more to get the uh threaded bars through but let's just give it a go Yeah, we're going to have to drill that out a little bit more. Not a great deal, but, you know, just a little bit. So, uh, OK, let's get the drill out. Okay, so another problem we've got now is, yeah, they're nice and big, those holes there. Let's move that a little bit so you can see properly. And yes, the stalks will fit, so that would be that way around, won't it? So now the thread goes through, no problem at all. But then the problem we've got is because this is wrong, We've got that big gap, haven't we? We've got this, this big base which would normally go through, uh, I guess, a sort of a shaped bracket like that. You know, so it'd be something along these lines. Yeah, and that would go into the shape of the bracket, I guess, and uh, jobs, jobs. So I suppose the choices we've got are, because I've got two of these that I can make do, I've either got to cut an oval in here that will allow this section to fit in there, or I've got to remove this thread cut that off so it's at least flush with this and then r somehow get that thread back in and uh, see if it work okay so I'm gonna uh, I've got one ready here um, I've been able to remove the thread so I'm now gonna try cutting this off and uh, just move it around a little bit. Yep. So I'm going to try cutting this section off here. And uh, and we'll see, and hopefully we won't ruin the, uh, you know, too much uh, costly indicator. Of course, nice and gentle as well, because uh, don't want to cut the wires. So I'm out of the way. Right, that's just so I can get the wires out of the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so the modification continues. So I've now uh, cut the base off the indicator and I'm just going to try one of these big old seals here. Uh, obviously now the threaded section is far more recessed than it was before. I've also had to, as you can see on this side, um, this, it's got a lip all the way down there well that prevents the indicator base from sitting flush so I've cut it and bent it out and now it'll go through so let's just give it a little go so you can see where we are big washer a min nut see the only other thing is I'm a nut short you know that isn't, that isn't a pun <laughs> okay so let's just wab that on there oh, so it's going to be sitting like that Tighten that up a bit so it squashes the seal down. Good. So uh, all we need to do now is do the same on the other side and then get this um, bracket prepped and get some primer on it and then we can uh, colour it up a bit. And I think that's going to look excellent when it's finished. Let's, uh, let's crack on. Okay, modifying done. So obviously I'm going to prep it for painting in a minute, but uh, what do we think? I think that looks great. The level, seals are good. Let's just have a look. Obviously it's going to go on like that. I'm really pleased with that. But I suppose it's a great example of there's no such thing as a five minute job. Not when it comes to restoring my old motorcycles. Um, so yeah, I'll whip the indicators out now and uh, let's get some prep for paint. Super, thank you.
Hey internet, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like we've done very much really, but I hope what today has shown is that uh, there really is no such thing as a five minute job. What should have been a very simple uh, case of bit of paintwork and bolting the indicators onto the back turned into a job where we've had to alter the bracket completely, drill it out, we've had to make some uh, seals, we've had to alter the uh, indicator stalks um, to get it to look good and to get it to fit right. So I can't really do much more for today. Paintwork is now done on the uh, bracket. I think you'll agree that that is looking delish. I've just uh, clear coated it. It's touch dry already because I've been using a heater to uh, dry it. And um, we'll leave it overnight now really, just to really harden off. I don't want to scratch it and I don't want to ruin it. And you know, just for the sake of waiting until tomorrow, um, I'd rather get it right. So yeah, don't. it doesn't seem like we've done very much today, but we will be getting that back on the bike tomorrow. We will be getting the rear wiring done, and then we can carry on with the rest of the wiring. And it's just gonna be piecemeal like that really until, uh, until we're finished. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the bodywork on. Um, and you know, we're getting there now, it's really coming together. So, uh, you know, do stick with me. Um, Please give me a thumbs up if you're liking the videos. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, please do subscribe. And remember to click on the bell icon and you'll get a notification every time I upload new content. And I do once or twice a week uh, at the very minimum. Uh, I can't think we've got anything else to paint now, but you know, as we go through, there might be the odd bits and pieces because I want it to look right when it's done. So there's things like the foot peg mounts and what have you. I might end up repainting them, um, but we'll just see. We'll just we'll just carry on. So as I say, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope, as I say, it's demonstrated the frustrations that you can have when you're carrying out a restoration on an old motorcycle and you're having to buy pattern parts um, that you know maybe don't fit quite as well as they should or indeed are for some uh, slightly different model that you then have to adapt. Um, I hope you'll agree that the back it, uh, that the indicators when they were on the bracket looked really good um, but you know what I think we'll uh, we'll see tomorrow we've got a new rear light lens to go on it as well so the back end should look really nice and uh, new when it goes back together. I'm looking forward to doing that tomorrow. So please stick with me and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much, Internet. Bye.